Good morning, Forms 4 and 5. I hope that you're all well and that if you're in Form 5, your assessments are going well. I wanted to talk to you today about some things that you can do to help people understand what a great person you are, basically. Um, the first one I want to talk about is showing up on time. It's a really, really simple thing to do. If you're late, then you are being disrespectful to the person that you're meeting. You're saying that your time is more important than theirs. And I think it's really important. That it's something we can all work on to make sure that everybody understands that we do value what other people do. Now, the next one is tricky, dressing appropriately. Some people might say that being overdressed is better than being underdressed. But I'm not entirely sure that's correct. You need to take time to work out what you should be wearing for a particular event or a particular situation and then make sure that you follow that kind of dress code. Again, it's about respecting other people. Remember the little things. So if you remember what somebody said to you or you remember what their little brothers called or when they went to a certain place or that a certain date is important to them, they will really, really value that. It shows that you care. If you listen to what somebody says, it's going to show that you care about them and about how they, they get on with things. Holding a door open. We've talked about this before. Again, showing respect for other people just by holding that door open for them. It's not a sign that you are weaker or in some way inferior to other people. It's simply politeness. Taking notes. When you need to get something done, it's not a bad thing to actually write that down so that you don't forget it. So take this situation. If you were in a restaurant and you were ordering some food, who would you respect more? If your waiter writes down your order and then brings you the correct food, that's all good. The person that tries to remember it, the waiter thinks, no, I'll be all right. But then you get the wrong food. It's better to write something down and then to actually do it correctly. That way, everybody is a winner spending money wisely all right I know we all like to spend money we all like to go and have fun I'm not saying don't do that I'm just saying have a big think about what you spend your money on and who you spend your money on all right think about how you can use it wisely and people will think more of you if you do that how you invest your time so this brings us on to how we're living at the moment we have a lot more time and how are you using your time? Do you do things that will benefit you or benefit others? Or are you squandering that time to distract you from the, the good things that you could be doing, the things that truly matter? I'd like you to think about that over the coming week. And finally, your circle of friends. So I found this that says you are a reflection of the five people that you spend the most time with. How do you feel about that? Who we associate with speaks volumes about our outlook on life, our beliefs, our goals, and what we find most important. Do you agree with the values of the people that you spend time with? If you do, that's brilliant. If you want to improve yourself, spend time with people who value self-improvement. So I'd like to leave you on that note, and I'd like to encourage you to spend time over the next week or two weeks thinking about this and how you can act so that you appear in a really good way to the people that you are coming across to. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you again on Friday.